Hello everyone, my name is Sierra McCray and I am a SNAP and Nutrition Educator for the EBR East Feliciana Parish representing Southern University Ag Center. And today's topic is eight foods you shouldn't peel before eating. Do you have a habit of eating unpeeled foods? So I can speak for myself. When I am preparing a food um, that includes a recipe or specific ingredients, the first thing I am doing is I'm grabbing my potato peeler, I'm grabbing a knife, I'm grabbing something to go ahead and peel off um, that skin or whatever's on the surrounding surface of my ingredients before preparing it. But very few people know that benefits and nutrients are provided to our bodies when we actually eat the peel. When we remove the peel, we lose valuable nutrients, minerals, and vitamins that end up in the trash. So today I am going to discuss eight foods that you should not peel before eating and why you should add them to your daily routine. Facts, eat the peels. So here we have um, a little mini diagram of different um, ingredients or different information for each of the foods that I wanna talk about today. As you notice, some of them are blank. So I want you guys to, of course, listen to what I'm saying, but if you see any information that you probably can guess before I talk about it, put it in the comment box and let me know that you know about it before I even speak on it. So the first one is kind of uh, giving you the answer, which is cucumbers. Cucumbers are enriched with phytochemicals, um, which contain, contain flavonoids and lignans. So flavonoid and lignans, are things that um, prevent anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer. So if you are one that wants to eat a cucumber with the skin on it, always keep that in the back of your brain. Understand that you know it's your body and when you're consuming these peels or these skins, these are the benefits that you are consuming within your body. The next food is going to be potatoes, my favorite. So potatoes, um, it's always very interesting to talk about in regards to food because potatoes can be prepared in many, many different ways. But I will speak on the, um, on the fact of baked potatoes or baked sweet potatoes. Typically when a person eats a baked potato or a baked sweet potato, you kind of open the inside and you eat the inside. Of course, you're gonna add um, additives that may be pleasing to your taste buds. Um, but typically we only eat the inside and throw away the peel. Um, I'm here to say that you gotta eat the peel because that peel has has a high um, percentage of calcium, iron, and potassium. Um, now, I will speak for myself. I can't speak for everybody else, but I do eat the peel on baked potatoes, especially if it's uh, soft. So even if, even if you have to prepare it a different way to make sure that you're consuming that peel, do so. There are so many different other ways that you can get the peels of a potato. You can also uh, slice or dice them like roasted potatoes and bake them. And that's still, you know, peels or the outside of the skin of the potato and the nutrients that you need to put into your body. My next food is going to be apples. So apples contain more than 50% of fiber when you eat the skin, all right? And if you know anything about fiber, fiber is something that keeps your digestive, digestive system clean, it keeps it healthy, and it keeps it on a right track. So um, I will say that when you do consume the peel of an apple, I understand it can be gritty, it can be kind of tough when you're chewing on that peel, but there are so many things that you can do to kind of take out that texture of that grittiness or that chewiness. You can add some sunflower seed butter, you can add almond butter or peanut butter to kind of knock out that texture if you have issues with consuming that peel. My next food I wanna talk about are plums. So I think plums are very interesting because when I'm in the produce section, I never think to grab a plum um, you know, in regards to making groceries. I always think of like apples, bananas, watermelon, just like the basic fruit or basic vegetables. But plums are actually really good and beneficial for the body. Um, when you eat the skin, it is considered a good antioxidant and uh, detoxifying properties, which acts as a stool softener. So make sure that you are um, eating those peels on the plums. Uh, when, it, when it's de detoxifying your body, that means it's getting rid of waste in your body that you do not need, which is also good for weight loss as well. So make sure that when you're eating the plum, you're eating the skin as well because of those benefits. My next food I want to talk about is eggplants. So eggplants contains nesthesine, which protects against free radicals and cell damage. So that goes back to what I say, said before. 
know your body, understand what your body needs. If you are one that wants to focus on these things that I'm talking about, you know, kind of target in on those specific foods. Even if you are one that just wants to make sure that those areas are still healthy, understand what you're putting into your body and understand what you're taking out of your body when you don't eat it. My next food is going to be mangoes. Mangoes also contain um, a ton of antioxidants and it's shown to be effective for reducing body fat and preventing obesity. So eat those skins, guys. My next food is going to be kiwi. So this is very interesting because if you know anything about a kiwi, you know that the outside of the skin of a kiwi is not very pleasant. Um, you know, it has like a, almost like a hairy film base, kind of rough. Um, so it can, it, you know, it may not be as pleasurable as you think it would be when you are eating the skin on the kiwi. Now, when we get further into my lesson, I'll kind of talk about things that you can still do to um, eat the peel, but not directly eat the peel, if that, make, uh, if that makes sense. But when you do consume the peel of a kiwi, it contains three times the fiber and a major boost of its vitamins and mineral content. So eat the peels, guys. And last but not least, carrots. So uh, if you don't know, carrots uh, do or does have a peel on it. It's very, very thin. If you ever saw a carrot, of course, it has like an ashy a layer on top and then some people kind of peel that off and then it gets a little bit uh, moist underneath there. Well, that fine layer of skin beneath the peel has shown to be promising results of anti-cancer, anti-fungal and antibacterial effects. So guys, eat the skins, eat the peels, you can do it. Did you know mango peels can also be picked or grated into a zest for salads and desserts? So that goes back to my uh, kiwi thing. Um, if you are one that just can't get jiggy with, the, with the, the texture on the outside of a kiwi, I get it. There are so many different ways that you can still get the nutrients from that peel without eating the peel, if that makes sense. So for a mango peel, you can zest it for salads and or desserts. Did you know keeping the peels on these eight foods can reduce kitchen waste? So yes, we are recycling. We are getting these nutrients. There are so many benefits when you are um, eating the peels on these foods that I just talked about. Did you know the skin becomes tougher on an older eggplant? So I'm saying this because if you are one that wants to try the peel on an eggplant, understand that when you get an older eggplant, the skin will be tougher. So my suggestion would be to get a younger eggplant or a smaller eggplant so that skin is not as tough and it's, it's more manageable to chew. Did you know kiwis are loaded with more vitamin C than an orange? You know, this is interesting because, uh, you know, growing up when you are sick or just even now when you're sick, uh, it's, it's enforced to drink orange juice, drink orange juice because it has a ton of vitamin C, but kiwis are also loaded with uh, more vitamin C than the orange. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, and it was something that I wanted to bring to you guys' attention as well. Did you know deeper the color of the vegetable, the greater the phytonutrients? So this means that um, if you have ever seen a vegetable that is not quite the color that it should be, for an example, um, there are some vegetables that may be lighter and then there are other vegetables in the produce section that may be darker. Typically those darker vegetables have more uh, nutrients in them because those nutrients have sat in, they have developed and they're, um, they're better to consume or you're, you're, you have a greater chance of getting more nutrients when you consume them. So for my lesson review, it says eat organic. So I do want to mention that when you are eating these um, eight foods with the peels on it, I want you to think about eating them organic because I know that when we do eat the peels, some of us may have issues with pesticides. We may feel like, you know, the fruit is just not clean properly when we um, are eating the peels, but there are a ton of different ways that you can do to make things that you can do to make sure that these foods are safe to eat before actually eating them. Of course, of course, wash them. And also there's like pesticide spray that you can spray on these produce. There are a ton of different ways um, that they have kind of factored in today's society to make sure that foods are still safe to eat with the peels on it. So if you're one that kind of thinks about that or, or thinking about that, eat them organic. Show me the benefits. 
So I've talked about a ton of benefits, but I think this is a huge benefit, especially uh, I'll speak for myself when I say this, because when I eat, I do want to reduce hunger and feel fuller for a longer period of time because I'm trying to cut these calories. OK, so um, if I am eating uh, less but still feeling fuller, that means I'm, I'm you know, lessening my calories for the day. I'm remaining healthy. I'm trying to stay lean. So fruits and vegetables with the peel can reduce that. They're going to make you feel fuller for a long, longer period of time because, you know, when I talk about those um those specific foods a lot of those foods had a lot of fiber in it and fiber does help you feel fuller for a longer period of time so eat those pills and there are options so i said it before that um you know if you have issues with textures if you have issues with just anything in regards to consuming pills on these foods that i talked about there are so many different other ways that you can get these nutrients from pills without eating uh, the pills directly so you can use the pills for salads you can place them in smoothies and you can also create a soup so don't be afraid don't think that you should just have to eat the pills you know directly there are so many other different ways that you can consume these nutrients and eat the pills so for today's lesson, we have talked about, or today's lesson challenge, we have talked about eight foods that you shouldn't peel before eating. So I am going to challenge you guys today to consume at least one of the eight foods mentioned today with the peel on it. Now I'll give you some tips because this can be a challenge for some people that don't eat the pills on things. So my first tip is going to be open-minded. Take yourself back, understand that these pills have a ton of nutrients, have a ton of minerals and vitamins that can help your body be as healthy as you can you know, ever imagine. So be open-minded when you are consuming these pills. The next one I want to say is be creative. I said that there are so many different ways that you can consume these pills without directly consuming these pills. So be creative. Use your imagination when you are um, taking on this challenge. And last but not least, invite a friend to try it with you. Have your friend hold you accountable. You hold your friend accountable to try one of these foods that I stated today with the peel on it. Or you can just do it as just a, almost a challenge between you guys or as, as just as friends. So this is my challenge for today. And when you guys do it, I want to see what, you know, you guys think about trying the peels. Do you think that it was bad? Are you going to say, oh, Sierra, I can't get with it. So let me know what you think when you try these peels on one of the eight foods um, whenever you decide to try it. Once again, my name is Sierra McCray. I am a SNAP and Nutrition Educator for the EBR East Feliciana Parish, representing Southern University Act Center. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's live session.